Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Brian coming at you. CriticalBench.com, strength coach here. And I'm sharing with you a little bit about the Prowler sled on how to actually pull it. Okay, so a lot of people just think that it's a push only. But there's really a bunch of different ways you can pull this bad boy up and down the turf, up and down the field, carpet, wherever you are, wherever you want to knock this out. So pull, obviously it's the opposite of push. So easy enough, grab a strap, start pulling it. Very simple, walking backwards. If you saw uh, other video on how to push a sled, the same principle is gonna apply with pulling a sled. You can walk, walk slow, or you can run fast. Either way you wanna do it, they're both a little different. Um, the slow is a little more geared towards strength, whereas the fast, like running, is more for speed and power. All right, so there's also a thing called a squat row, a squat pull. Very simple, squat down, pull it in. It's almost like a kettlebell swing. Driving those hips forward, a little hip thrust in there, hip hinge, that's a great way to develop pulling power, all right? So if you're a wrestler and you need to throw somebody behind you, that's a great way to get some leverage and yank somebody and throw them off. Now you also see a rope attached, a battle rope. That's a way to pull it. Um, so as you can see, it's a great tool to use for the arms as well. So if you want to combine the two, Start with a little bit of pull. You know, here we go. Nice, good, long, hard pulls all the way down. Good. Go all the way to the other side because the rope's already set up. So now, instead of pushing back or doing another leg pull, grab the rope right here. However you want to do it, just know that the Prowler sled is able to be pushed and pulled in a bunch of different formats. Now if you want to get this part of your training, get this set up, make sure you got a little bit of space. Uh, you can even use this particular sled outside on the asphalt or the concrete. It will eat up the plates underneath, but it doesn't matter, you still can use the Prowler sled in your neighborhood, outside the gym if there's no turf. Um, it's a great tool to use for athletes, for fitness goers, for even beginners too. Just trying to develop the proper mechanics of walking, sprinting, and things like that. So again, that's it, Prowler Sled. Hopefully you find it beneficial and hopefully you'll apply it to your training. And uh, there's something else I'd love to share with you on training. It's called the Seven Worst Testosterone Killers. Check it out, it's free, it's for you, and it can be found right in this corner here. Under this video, there's a tiny arrow, click it. That's gonna drop open the video description area. The link at the top, you see it there? Click that link, give us your email, and we'll send you the PDF for free right away. An easier way to get this report is to click this box right here. Go ahead, do that, give us your email, we'll send the report to you immediately. Subscribe to us by clicking here. Check out this video right here. Comments, questions below, love to hear from you. I'm Coach Brian, coming at you with criticalbench.com. Thanks for watching, have a good one.